Hi everyone, this is Diane with Owl's Treasures. So today I'm going to make a rainbow sew. If all goes well, I'd like to do a drop swirl. I am using a lot of different colors. They are all from Mad Micahs. I'm going to use English Bath House from Crafter's Choice. It has 0.4% vanillin, so I'm hoping it doesn't change color, or if it does, not too much. For colors, I'm using Mad Micah's True Red set, which is Spicy Tomato, Voodoo, and Raisin Hussy. Uh, let's see. For the orange, I'm using Tangerine Dream. For the green, I actually used a combination. I used just a little bit of the Snake Island because I wanted it a little darker. And I used Crazy Eyes, which is a little bit lighter. For the yellow, I used Banana Split. For the purple, Grape Knee High. And for the blue, Aphrodite. Some of those colors I've used before, others I have not. For the base, I'm going to add a little bit of Snow White just to counter the vanillin a little bit. And depending on how the top looks, I'm going to use a little bit of Stellar White from Mica Zamor instead of glitter. I don't know if you can see the shine in there. So we will see how that goes. Now, um, I guess I could show you. When I know I'm doing a lot of soaps of the same recipe, I do master batch my oils in here. And I usually do enough for one, maybe two weeks, depending on how many soaps I'm making. And then I master match my lye in a stainless steel pot. Make sure it's stainless steel. And that's my one-to-one -one lye solution. When you are master batching your lye, make sure you add your water to your oils for the extra water or goat's milk or whatever you are using. If you want to learn more about master batching, Soap Gal had a good episode on YouTube regarding master batching. She does really large batches. I only do master batching for smaller amounts, so I also am limited on space to store things. So I don't do a lot of master batching. It is helpful though. So this is my one-to-one -one lye solution here. I already have water in my oils for the extra water. So let's get started.
sure if you can see the glitter in there. It's very glitter. Very glittery, very shiny. This is the bathhouse, English bathhouse. Oh, I like the way that turned out. That's pretty. I really like that. That's almost a tiger stripe. Mm -hmm. That's pretty. A little bit of sparkle and glitter on the top. Not too much. That's the one you were going to do the drops, but it didn't turn out quite the way you told you it was a thicken, right? It's one of them. And several of them. Keep wanting to do a drop swirl. Because I think it would turn out neat, but they have been too thick. That almost looks like a ring. Uh huh. That came out really nice, though. I'm not sure what a drop swirl is, honestly. I really like the way this turned out. 